How's everybody doing today? We're going to do an updated item merging video and different ways to merge items to either create your own furniture or place things where they don't really want you to place things in the game, in your camp specifically. Um, the first way that I do all my merging is generally with just terrain. Um, and that's actually one of the places why I build in the same place almost every camp. Um, essentially take two items. Find a spot in your terrain where it sinks in. Um, this does work on every platform. So um, if you are finding a spot that it doesn't work, more than likely it's the spot not that it's been fixed or it doesn't work. Um, there is a place to test it and you can test and make sure it works. Just go to the racetrack, go to one of the far north um, nodes where like you'd actually set one of the refineries in it. And you can test it right there on the edge of one of those. It works perfectly every time. But essentially, you need to find a spot where an item will sink into the ground. Don't be fooled by stairs on your foundations. Doesn't work. Um, but you would just pick the item up, place it, pick it up, place it. What is happening is essentially the item, when you are hovering in place, wants to sink into the terrain to the actual level of the ground. Um, and then when you place it, it, the item jumps up into the other item because the other item wants to stay where it is and the item that you're placing wants to move to the surface of the ground and that is what is happening, essentially. But let's say you took this too far. Um, one way to fix it is just, you know, pick it up and recorrect and start over. The other way to fix it if you're not in a shelter is to take and actually set it on your camp node. That is one of the ways that I would repair it, um, and it does the opposite effect. Um, knowing this gives you two features. Um, first, you could float an item if you wanted to. Um, ideally, I don't like floating things unless I'm floating it to make it look like it's sitting on something, like a shelf or you name it. Um, but that is something you can do. Um, another use case for this option to float an item would be making um, flat screen TV. At least it looks like a flat screen TV. I found some recipes at a place and that called is just Toxic Larry's one of the, uh, the tables, and I'll show you how to do that in a second, but I want to continue on the merging. Another way to merge items is to... Um, you'll need a generator or a power source, and then you will need a pressure plate. You take the pressure plate, connect it to power, and then you can take place items on it. And it is a slower version of this, but it does work. Uh, so you can still merge items. Um, so this would be a way to merge items from inside your shelter. And it does work just the same. Um, I mean, granted, in the shelter, you have a lot more freedom. You can just place things where you want them. Like in shelves, you can do that. Um, but outside of the outside of the shelter you can take and place item on shelves with this method um you just take a shelf take the little wooden shelf and then like you wanted to put a fish in the shelf Oops, I grabbed it by accident. But that would be a way to do it. I personally like terrain because I have a lot more control personally. Because with terrain, you can actually take the amount that it drops in and change how far it sinks. Where this is just a really, like, a finite amount of movement. Which, like I said, some people it might be easier for you. I like the terrain, but this is an option if I run into building in a place where I can't place items. So that's a use case for that. Um, and it works pretty well. Another way to merge items is with the flamethrower. Um, it's a little more tr tricky and it's actually really aimed more at these... Um, oh, what are they called? Little modular... Um, these guys. You can take and, you know... You can merge these and, like, burn them and place other things in them. Um, and that's actually how I did... Cramburger? Um, I'm not sure that a lot of my kitchen. Um, Hello? That is with... Like, I would have to 
merge this in with the terrain, and then I would need to burn all of this with the flamethrower. Um, and you don't have to power the flamethrower at all. You can just place it and then hit the button and turn it on. And you can just trigger it. Um, I do power it sometimes. That's if I'm... Um, the only time I'm powering it if I'm double walling the half walls because you have to place the concrete ones and then burn them and place the second one. Um, but and then in that case, I would take and attach that to the pressure plate and then set the... Um, I'd set the flamethrower on a shelf, move the shelf around, step on the pressure plate to activate it. Another use case, more than just doing that to merge items, um, you can create cabinets. Uh, I mean, luckily now we have the shelves. It lets you just place things on the wall. It's actually how I did my shelves in the kitchen. But let's say you want to... I'm just going to put a roof here just for to show what I'm talking about. And then let's grab our light. And say want it to be nighttime. I'll just use our light. And you want to make cabinets. One way that I make cabinets, which you can use rugs for a lot of things, but I find if you use it have a two-story place or you're double um you're doing double ceilings. Like I do double ceilings a lot because I like low ceilings inside, high ceilings outside, but Let's say you take this rug and then you take actually like using this uh, this display and then you would you would sink it in oh I know what's fighting me my stairs here that are holding my pole um, <laughs> I really the, uh, need to find a way to bring back water ice. The camp node floating thing is how I did the mailbox, by the way. And then I would burn the mailbox, place the pole in place. Um, but yeah, you take... Take this in. Keep going. Oops. I reset it. Ugh. At least you didn't do that with the other method, which takes forever because you have so little option to move it. And once you go all the way down, keep going like four or five more. And then it is hanging and you just place it where you want. So you obviously if you wanted to use multiple of those to make like wall cabinets, you would stage them appropriately. And then now you have a cabinet there. You can also do the same thing with the new little shelf. If you have it, I believe this will just sit on it. But if you wanted to just float in a much simpler way uh, and not have weird stuff on the wall, that's a way to do it. I'm actually have mine in the kitchen now using shelves because I didn't I have a high ceiling here. But yeah, these are sitting on a shelf doubled up. But uh, the terrain merging is how I made this. I took three Nixie tubes and the radio. I wonder if mutations change sank food into Not that I the uh, personally, the coffee table, then sank the coffee table into this box, and then sank all of it into this table. And that's how I made this little built-in stereo. Um, same idea on how I'd made this rock coffee table. And then if you want to know how to make the uh, the flat screen, you would just take the uh, camp node method. And you take one of these guys, another one, stack it, put this on the back. Make sure that one's connected to the bottom. Take your camp node. And then you would put this on here. And then you would basically load it to the desired height. 
And then you have what looks like a flat screen TV. You can do the same thing with the pictures. If you don't have this, it would just be smaller. But I hope this set of explanations helps you uh, one-up your camps a bit. And I hope you enjoy this video. I do hope if you did like it, you would hit the like button. Subscribe, turn on notifications so you don't miss a video. I do stream Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday here on YouTube. Sundays are intermittent. I will stream on there as well. Um, and thanks to my uh, members that have joined the channel. I will catch you guys next time. Later.